Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we have a special guest, it's my sister with me here again. Hi! It was a, it was a long time since you've been here. Yeah, it's been a couple of months, or even more. Yeah, no, a couple of months. Yes, so today we're going to do a video that's called My Sister Does My Makeup and she's going to do makeup on me today with some yeah. of her favorite products too. Yeah. If you want to see how that goes, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So we're starting with a base for the eyes with one of the primers my sister uses. So we'll do that. And it's going to be a simple makeup. So we're going to do one of my new favorites palette by Tarte Maneater and it's a wonderful palette to have when you're going to travel. So first we're going to start with this white shade to set the concealer on her eyes. Then we're going to use this fluffy brush, it's perfect for the transition shade. And we are going to use the shade called Pur. Pur. I think it's called Pur. I think you pronounce it. It's called Pur. Mm. That palette smells vanilla. Yeah, it smells wonderful. Now, what's good with this color is that they are not, they are very pigmented, but not so pigmented that, that you. When you put your brush in, you get so, too much pigment on your eyes and it's hard to blend. So you can always build up the color as you wish to have. With a different brush and doing the darker color called Saucy. It's this one. And it's a brown shade. Just a little bit of that shade in her eyes. Just to dip up the corners. This color is good, very good for dipping up the eyes. Now I'll tell you a secret. This is my first time putting makeup on anyone other than myself. Mm. So we will see how this goes. So it's going to be hit or miss today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we are going to use Hypnotic, which is this. I love this color. I hope you can see this shade. It's so pretty. Now these colors do have a, uh, some fallout, so that's why I always use do my eyes first and then my uh, foundation. Now I'm wiping off the color and using the same brush to pack on the other shade in her inner corner of her eyes that's called Foxy and this shade is also very 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 beautiful. It's one of my favorite shades in this palette. It's so creamy and looks so beautiful on the eyes. Now if you feel you don't have get to too much pigmentation with the brush, you can always, always use your fingers. And that, that's not just with this palette, it's with all the shimmer shades in every other palette you have. They always work best with applying with the finger. Also maybe taking some Fix Plus or setting spray. Yeah. Some of the shades work better if they're wet. Yeah. If you wet the brush first. If you want a more metallic look, then you can use. Now we're going back with the first brush, uh, with the second brush we use for the outer corners. We are just taking a little bit of this hypnotic, this red shade, it's not really red, and just blending all those two colors together. So it looks good. Now for the pri face primer we are using this Hangover from Too Faced and this is a very very good primer. 
I think it's cute. It looks like this. It looks like something you're gonna squeeze out, but it actually has a pump. Yeah, the package made me confused first time I saw that too. And it smells very nice. Yeah, it does. And the skin feels so soft. I've been in sun whole day, so that uh, primer feels very good on my skin right now. How does it feel to put <laughs> makeup on somebody else? Like I said, it's my first time and it, it feels kind of strange, but it's really, really fun. Now for the foundation, we're going to use this Milani Concealer and Perfect foundation in shade number three. Now I always do this with all my foundations. I always put some of the foundation on the hand and then apply, apply it to the face. Now for the under eye concealer we're going to use this Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in shade Vanilla I think. <coughs> Light 2 <coughs> Vanilla. Now on, when you watch YouTube and the makeup tutorials they always do this concealer, the pack on very much and blend it like V shape. I don't usually do that for every day and I almost always use my fingers to blend in the concealer and the eyes because when you have fine lines like I do on the eyes I feel like blender and the brush they just pack on the concealer in the fine lines and they don't blend very well so I always always use my fingers And I think that gives the concealer more coverage. That's just my opinion. Now we're going to set everything with the Stay Matte by Rimmel. And this this very finely milled. And it's really, really good. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, mine too. I don't know. Now I always like to pack the powder under the eyes, like stapling motions, under the eyes, chin and forehead, where you get very very oily. And then, what's rest on the brush, I just take it around the face. I never swipe with the brush because I feel it takes all the foundation off. Now for the lower lash line we're going to use this saucy shade. Not the whole way in just halfway because we're going to go with the other, sh uh, other shade later so blend that in and now for her inner corners of the eye we're going to use this passion shade and blend this saucy shade with it now for the highlight for the inner corners we're going to use this lace and Lace looks like this. It's very, very pigmented, as you can see. Now for the bronzer, we're going to use this by Milani Baked Bronzer in shade Dolce. It gives very good, nice shimmer to the face. This bronzer is very good for the sun, I think. Now when I'm using the bronzer, I always stick it down a little bit on the neck too, so it all blends very good together. Now for the blush, we're going to use this by Wet n Wild Color Iconic Blush in shade uh, Rose Champagne. And Ida has a video on her channel where she's doing swatches of all these blushes she has, so you can check that out. I think she can. I will put the link down yeah. below. Or card up here somewhere. <laughs> They are not matte, so don't expect a matte blush, but they are not shimmery. They just give a little, little bit of the glow to the face. So we just did my eyebrows. 
for my safety, I'm gonna <laughs> use this myself. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to lose an eye or something. Wait, I'm going to drink some water before you. Okay, I'm ready. Now for the lips, we're going to use this lipstick from Makeup Revolution. And this shade is beautiful nude. She's going to do a swatch video with all the shades she has. And this is like a pinkish nude. Um, I think it's called The One. The One, yes. The Other One. So guys, this is the result. I really, really like how it looks. It looks fresh and very nice. We've been outside today, whole day with our children, and we are kind of red <laughs> everywhere. So that's, I've been wearing a t-shirt. So this is, that's why I'm red just here. So yeah, you, I'm sorry for that. But I really enjoy this look. Thank you so much. And this is her first time. So I was kind of scared. Yes. Most when you did my eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, uh, the eye uh, mascara I didn't dare to do, so she had to do it by herself because I was so afraid to poke her in the eyes. Like she said, it's the very first time for me to do anybody's makeup except for on myself. So it's been a very good experience and I think I did a very good job. Yes, you did. What do you think, guys? Please give some comments down below. i read them all and I hope you enjoyed this video with us. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Bye.